well part four of the video um i just want to show you that we've been trying on a very very um not friendly weather with just about uh small panels i have on the system to charge this battery i just want to give you updates and today this is what i've done it's overcast it's, it's not even overcast it's no sun zero sun that came out uh today and finally we got the batteries floated you see the light the batteries are charged so we're gonna be doing um a low test on this battery to see um if the 462 amp hours actually we can able to pull that from these batteries and this is the system and i want you to um this is uh the phoenix inverter smart charge controller a scratch here and um, 230 volt international and we're gonna be using these transformers here I will I already tested this one the last time so I want to test this one and see this is the the diamond uh, series voltage converter built-in uh, stabilizer on it so we want to try this 5.5 um kilowatt and for international i don't know this is not 5.5 kva so it's it's more than that so i just i bought this and and uh i'm ready to test them and this is a 1.750 kilowatt and it's working fantastic so i want to test this guy here and see was a five kilowatt I don't know if we can able to drive any five kilowatts from this uh, Nissan Leaf battery, but um, we want to run the batteries so that we can try and get them back all depleted. But you see, we're floating. The green light is on. And we see how it is. We're going to have some loss because we're not going to, this one already have a, a transformer inside, a big transformer up here. Turrell, a Turrell, whatever it's called, transformer is huge, is in here. That makes the inverter really heavy at the top. And we're gonna step down the voltage to that, um, to 120 volts, North America. And um, uh, it's gonna be a loss because you have a transformer here, a low frequency inverter, and another huge transformer in there, almost identical to this one here. And we're going to be driving these batteries. Um, see, we have seven in parallel and seven parallel series. And give us um, series parallel to give us the uh, uh, seven kilowatt at 462 amp hours. If we calculate it to be that way, like a 66 amp hours, if we have happen to take them, happen to just mimic, or we happen to say, if that's what I want to say, um, oh, we assume, that's the word. If we assume uh, these batteries were new at 66 amp hours, like a 500 watts per module, each module is 500 watt times uh, 14. That's supposed to give us a, a 7 kilowatt. Okay. And um, I don't know, but this is a monster. It took a long time. It took a while for it to get charged. And the panels are not sitting in an exposed, exposed place that he only picks up the morning sun, which I set the panels for. And it's just a little panels. And uh, it finally got it to charge on a float and uh, what I set the parameters for, okay, is uh, I think it's a 16.4. We set the batteries for um, batteries to charge instead of 16.8. All right. So if you divide that, um, 8 divided 8.4, something like that, divided by 2, you're going to have by 4.2 charge pan cell so 4.2 if you put right here the center tap and this is a 4.2 and a 
that gives us the 8.4 per battery. Okay, per module. So 8.4, 8.4, 8.4, all the way. 8.4, 8.4, all the way. In series, it gives us that, you know, I charge to 16.4 um, instead of 16.8. Uh, so, guys, this is the deal. And we're going to test it. And stay tuned for more to come for the low test. And we have um, our smart shunt made by Victron. And it's going to be running with the Victrons and uh, Victron. And I think it's going to be cool. Like and subscribe. JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. And stay tuned for more to come live from this channel. Bye-bye.